Hey, wake up! <laughs> Today we're gonna to become better batsmen. <laughs> In today's video, we're going to be focusing on three things that all great batsmen do. When we look at international cricketers who are at the pinnacle of the sport, you get the batsmen like Virat Kohli, Joe Root, A.B. de Villiers and Kane Williamson who are very pleasing on the eye, have very good technique. And then you look at guys like Steve Smith and Chris Gale who aren't that pleasing on the eye, but they still get the job done exceptionally well. All of these batsmen do the fundamentals extremely well. And those fundamentals are the core of being a good batsman. If you focus on these three things, you too can become a great batsman, or at least a little bit better. The first fundamental we'll be looking at today is playing the ball as late as possible. For this, Byron's gonna be our lovely assistant. He's been woken up rudely from his slumber, and uh, he's, gonna take a, he's gonna take a batting stance a couple of meters away from me. We can use a tennis ball. What Byron's gonna do is he's gonna look to defend the ball as late as possible, make it pop back up, catch it with his right hand. Playing the ball late has a lot of added benefits, Firstly, just makes your eyes watch the ball from the point of delivery to where it bounces all the way until it makes contact with your bat. Secondly, the added benefit from having soft hands when you play the ball late means that if you do nick off, the ball will probably drop short or be a very difficult catch for the slips. And lastly, it helps you be extremely compact as a batsman, not giving the ball any chance to sneak through. The next thing that all great batsmen do is play the correct lines. So for this role, we're gonna look at specifically your front foot lines. We're gonna look at an on drive, a straight drive, and a cover drive. The principle behind this drill is choosing one, making sure your hands follow through the line all the way through to the top. So let's go through a quick demonstration. We're gonna start with the on drive. Open up, hands all the way through, making sure you keep your lines. Then we're gonna go straight drive, all the way through, and cover drive, all the way through. From this point on, we're gonna to transition to heating balls. So we're going to quickly get Byron over here. Playing the correct lines have added benefits. You'll have a full face of the bat on contact. This means you'll hit the ball harder as you've got your momentum going through the point of contact all the way to the finish position and be less prone to nicking off because the bat isn't working against the line of the ball. The third and final fundamental thing we are going to be looking at in the video today is making sure that you get your head into line. Getting your head into line is important as, as you move into line, your eyes stay nice and level, so it's easy to see the bounce of the pitch and the line of the ball. At the same time, this is gonna help us track the ball so we can play it nice and late with a good contact point. And on top of that, it just makes sure that we follow the ball the whole way. Getting our head into line is also gonna determine the lines with which we hit the ball. Because once our head moves, our body is gonna shift. And as soon as the head moves into line, the shoulders and the hips are going to realign themselves and we're going to have to hit through those lines. So the basic drill that Zenon is now going to demonstrate to us is where the coach throws the ball to the player. The player moves across initially on the back foot to make sure that the head follows the line of the ball. It's important to try and keep the eyes nice and level with the ground and catch it as close to their back hip as possible. This is bringing in some of the previous fundamentals as well as you're getting the ball nice and late and this is training your body to make the contact nice and late. Thereafter, we're gonna move and we're gonna try it with the front foot, where the coach is gonna throw in various lines again, and the player is gonna move with the front foot and catch the ball under their eyes nice and late. At the same time, while you're moving forward, your eyes have to stay level, because as soon as your head dips slightly, it's gonna make it look like the ball is moving when it is not, and can also make the bounce appear to be on a different length to what it is. Thanks for watching this video. Remember, doing these key fundamentals are going to help you become either a great person or just be that little bit better.